Hello everyone. This workshop is part of a series of Mindscape activities which connects people to nature through art. They're designed for people with dementia along with their family and or carers, but they're also suitable for other groups such as families with children. Mindscape is a Y Valley area of outstanding natural beauty and art space syndicate project. It's part of the Foresters Forest, the National Lottery Heritage Fund and the Landscape Partnership Programme. And each of these YouTube videos is accompanied with a step-by-step -step activity guide that you can download from the Artspace Cineford website. Hi and welcome to the Mindscape activities. For this session we're going to make a bird feeder using an orange and for food inside we're going to have apple and bird seed and I've also got a little bit of peanut butter into the mix here. This is a fairly simple exercise to complete. It shouldn't take too long, but it will give you hours of pleasure watching the birds feed off of it across the year. The tool that I've got, um, I've got, uh, starting left to right, a small screwdriver, some sort of spike, which I'm going to use just to create a little hole inside the skin of the orange. I have some secateurs that I'm going to use on this little bit of wood, uh, some scissors, a sharp knife for the fruit, and uh, I do have, just on standby, a bowl, as this can be a bit of a messy uh, activity. When I say messy, let's say juicy activity, and that should catch any dribbles along with the kitchen towel. This spoon here is a great little technique where you can take out the fruit from the, the orange peel without damaging it. The sticks that I'm going to use are going to be the structure that goes through the orange peel. And you could use something like a wooden barbecue skewer, something like that. Um, I'm going to use this little bit of hazel that I've got out of the garden, as I like the sort of really natural look. And lastly, I've got three lengths of string, roughly two and a half, three foot long. We can always cut them down if it's too much, and that's what we're gonna hang it with. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the orange fruit out of the orange peel. So if you grab a sharp knife, and obviously depending on what groups or individuals you're working with, you may wish to do this beforehand. But take your knife and about a centimetre deep, just cut around the middle of the orange, but not all the way through. And then, if you take your spoon, I'm getting my little plate ready here to capture all the juice. If you just tuck the handle up underneath the skin of the orange and just sort of move it around whilst pushing upwards. And you should be able to release the fruit without damaging the peel. And there we go. So, it would definitely be a shame to waste all this. I think that should be a bit of pudding afterwards. So now we have our little bowl that we're going to place the food inside. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut down some of these little bits of wood. There's that's what's going to be used to hang the bowl with the string. So roughly a slight sort of like two or three inch overhang either side. And now taking some sort of sharp tool, I'm just going to gently pierce the skin and go all the way through. I'll do that twice to create a sort of crosshair pattern and then simply pierce the, or insert I should say, the wood through the peel. When I cut these, I did do a slight angle to get a bit of a, a spike on it. 
just find the other hole. There it is. And the other one should just slightly overlap. The next stage is to take your string and just tie a little bit of string to each of the four ends. And if you if you're careful and use about the same amount or the same length of string per knot, it shouldn't be too lopsided. However, you can easily change that whilst it's hanging. and tight. Okay. If you're really fussy, you could cut off any little strands, any little end, end bits. I'm having trouble with that one. There we go. Um, should hang like that. So where that's slightly longer, we can just wrap that around to shorten the length of the string so it evens it out. We'll play around with that in a second. Okay? Right then. So, what I thought would be really nice if we had an extra bit of fruit hanging from the center. And that's where this piece of string comes in. Take an apple and again, carefully, cut in half, this time straight through. Now I'm going to cut this about a centimetre thick and just create a small little hole so that I can put the string through. Using some of the pumpkin seeds, I'm going to push that into the skin, or should say the flesh of the apple. They've got really sharp edges, so you shouldn't have any difficulty in doing this. Push it nice and deep. So you could do both sides of this. It gives the birds an extra little something to nibble on. I've made one, oops, I've made one earlier and tied a bit of string to it. So I can eventually hang it with the orange bar. Now, all I need to do is take my little peanut butter and I'll use this knife to sort of push it down into the bowl and we'll just top that up I think with the kitchen roll comes in handy a bit more of the bird seed and there you have it your own natural orange bowl bird feeder. So I take this outside, find a nice branch, tie the two together, and then spend a few hours enjoying watching the birds die on it. Hope you enjoy it.